Yo, what's going on? What the fuck is going on, family? What the fuck is going on, Gang Gang 10? My takeover brethren, we're here. We did it again. I learned something. I was observing the landscape and I noticed, I noticed that certain people, they're polarizing in a certain way. And, and but the thing is like, you gotta really be polarizing by really being yourself. Yo, what's going on? What the fuck is going on, family? What the fuck is going on, Gang Gang 10? My takeover brethren, we're here. We did it again. We're dropping more content as we should, yeah. That's what the fuck we do. You know what the fuck going on, baby. Stop fucking playing with your boy. All right, listen. I learned something. I learned something. And I was observing the landscape, you know, I was observing the landscape for a while before I really got into the content, started posting and shit like that. And I noticed, I noticed that certain people, they're polarizing in a certain way. And, and, and like, but the thing is like, you gotta really be polarizing by really being yourself. It's crazy because I learned this shit by mistake and it's, everything is clicking and starting to make sense, man. It's starting to make sense. So what happens is you just really be yourself authentically genuinely okay and people that's gonna make them upset <laughs> you stand firm in your you stand firm on what's in your heart and and you don't you just don't give a fuck and you're just unapologetically you that just do that and then eventually a mob will come for you and they'll be pissed off about some part of you and then what you do in that moment is you lean into it more. You lean into it more. You want it to still be authentic and it's you. you. You can't manufacture this by trying to be a certain way or trying to be divisive or try to be polarizing. It's not gonna be authentic, you know? Authenticity, genuineness is what gets results in life. The truth, closer we are to the truth, closer we are to God, it all makes sense together. So. You'll just be being yourself, living life, posting content, and there's gonna be a mob, and then boom, you lean into that shit. I'm learning that recently because I was just posting the fucking videos. So it's a reoccurring thing that's happening on Instagram, and right now I have a formula. <clears throat> Damn, I'm gonna say this formula, actually. I could really sell this. This is the beginning stages, but I'll say it, whatever, because people can still buy it from me and specifically get help from me with the specifics of it, but... Essentially, <clears throat> essentially, this is what it is, right? Post your content, you're just being you. You find out what it is that makes people tick about you. And then people will start engaging. This is like hacking the algorithms. And they can't actually stop this because this is what they want. So you're just giving them what they want. Like I said, this is authentic. It's authenticity that wins. Can't fucking manufacture the shit in a fucking machine like that. So, fucking... Essentially, surface level, the Krabby Patty, the, <laughs> the Krabby Patty formula is as follows. You're being you, there's going to be something that people, makes people tick about you. And it, it's, it's, this is actually so amazing how this came to fruition for me in my life. And how it's clearly God and there's a much bigger plan at stake here. Everything works in my favor, I'm an alchemist. I always make everything work in my favor. I'm just going along posting, boom, to my squats. People start fucking going crazy. Me, I'm a crazy person, psychopath. I start roasting the fuck out of these people, taking the shit to heart, being weird. <laughs> and then I like, was, I was like observing all this shit. And then I, I realized I was self-reflecting like about all of it. And then it hit me that that's what made the post blow up was the engagement in the comments. And in fact, specifically, we'll leave it at that. You know, the rest you're gonna have to contact me because this is solid shit, but there's layers of detail. But the comments, you know, just think logically. What do these sites want? They want people on the sites. They want to sell advertisement. They want traffic. They want to do that shit. They want engagement. People actually engaging these metrics that they could fucking track to make money off of data. Ready? Boom. Give them what they want. The parts about you 
that make people engage with it. And then what I did from there, specifically with my shit, it's fitness and people try to critique me. It's the mob of negative people that come out of this. And then you take them and you use them as pawns, which is why I start to, I tell them all in the comments too. Some people I'd have like a full circle moment where I, it's like a coming to God moment where like I explain to them like, yeah, man, my point is just to say something motivating or keep it moving, you know? Pretty much we're all imperfect and I didn't ask for your advice or opinion. I just roast the people though. And it gets the crowd going. It gets the people going. <laughs> like, it gets everything. Creating a community and environment in the comments. I respond to damn near every comment. Especially every negative comment. Actually all the positive ones too. And I make sure to be like, thank you, God bless you. You know, there's a few positive people, but it's it's the mob of negative people that we use as the pawns. The people, and this is why there's going to be a part of you that's polarizing. And on the opposite side, that's going to be the negative energy. And we're going to use the opposite side. Like, you know, in the fitness community, in my situation, it's like they're fucking science-based lifters. They're these people who do a lot of research and they, it's just... It's weird, but anyway, I'm getting on track. Remember, I'm human. You caught up in this shit too, but <laughs> the shit is working and it's definitely, I'm, I'm putting it together as a formula. And I'm realizing that the real sauce with this shit is you just have to be such a person of substance and you just have to be unapologetically yourself to a very high degree to a very far extent not give a fuck about anything else and stay solid on yourself and god forbid you be confident that's a fucking key people hate to see that because they're so not confident in themselves when they see someone that's so blaringly confident it just makes them so mad and what they don't understand is that that's how you get shit done that's how you don't be a bot or a loser or a pawn or a peon you you have ultimate confidence in yourself enough to try shit and keep going past the failures and to not let your negative neck your negative self-talk you know stop you from doing shit what's ironic is the commenters the negative commenters that we use in this formula right i found all this shit out by mistake this is this is god and i'm giving sauce right now for the polarization shit it's like this is sauce but it's funny because they're coming with that energy right and they're coming with this energy and we're just flipping it and we're using it to our advantage. And it starts with being yourself authentically. And if you really are authentic to yourself and you're not a bitch and you're just really you, then you're bound to piss some people off. You only don't piss people off when you tiptoe around shit and you lie and you be deceptive or you try to put on a face to please everyone. That's the only way you can do that because if anyone is naturally themselves, there's gonna be some parts about them that people disagree with and it's polarizing. So pretty much the key is to be fully authentic and boom, you'll, by extension, you'll be polarizing and then boom, use it. And if you're like me, roast some motherfuckers in the comments Get the fucking fire brewing on the posts when people come in negatively, just roast the shit out of them and reply to all comments and let your shit build up like that. And then once the posts start taking off, then I stop replying. Simple. Simple. It's the fucking key. I'm dropping some crazy gems. You know the fucking vibes. We going to the fucking house with this shit, baby. Let's get the fucking championship. You know, we just getting started. We getting a couple rings, bitch. Rush.